feel like AI art is becoming a bit disgusting. I've seen so much for the past year. Nothing I really appreciate artists, how many drawings uh, by them you've been. How make drawings by themselves you've been. Oh. Same. I actually feel the same. And I also. Like, I'm pretty hopeful about that. I think that people will start to appreciate uh, art even more after all of that. But as a safe bet for myself, I would want to try to move into like more of in, in an entertaining uh, area, like with live streaming or making YouTube videos, you know, showing the process of creating art. I think there is a lot of appeal in that as well. Like not only the finished product, but also the, the process itself. I think there is a lot of uh, entertainment to, to be had in that area. I also watched a video about uh, artificial in intelligence in general recently that kind of made me uh, way, way less stressed about the AI art thing. The video was main, like the main point of that video was um, the fact that tech companies are all hyping it up um, just for the sake of getting more money. Because that's how tech companies usually work. They don't, they can't even, um, it's not enough for them to produce a new thing and to get, you know, investors money because of that. What they need now is just to, for every, their innovation being like revolutionary. Like, do you remember how the, like, the example they used in the video was a self-driving car example. You remember how, like, in 20, I don't know, what was it, 18 or so? I don't remember like, the actual timing. But they they talked how, like, in a year, there would be, like, no more cars that are not self-driven. No more cars that are not driving themselves. And, yeah, there is... It. Where is it now? Where is... uh, Where are all the self-driving cars now? There are nowhere... Also, there was another example with like metaverse and all that bullshit, crypto, and like, where is it now? It's like, sure, it, it has its niche somewhere, but it's not like revolutionary in any way. And the point was that AI is, you know, just the same thing. You kind of they're hyping it up for for people to invest money in them, and then uh, it will kind of go nowhere. Sure as hell did cause a lot of stress to artists and uh, you know to people in general. Sure as hell caused a lot of stress to me. But even though, even if it like quote unquote takes over, I think people will still appreciate the human made art way more. Well, if anything, like you just go traditional. Although it it'll be a little bit harder to find uh, commissions with traditional art, but you know, as long as you're good, as long as you're dedicated, like you you'll do just fine, dude. The the ones who made an AI, AI, what about them? What about them? Yo, Jansom, thank you for the... Thank you for the follow, welcome, welcome. Is AI teaching itself? What do you, what do you mean by that? The point was that it is not as powerful as they make it out to be. Like, they... I mean, it's pretty good right now, but they make a claim that it's be like, it'll be, you know, it will have God powers in a year or so, that it will take over everything, absolutely everything in the world. 
the point of the video that kind of made me uh, made me a little bit more comfortable in my future was that it's not as powerful as they claim it to be. They just claim it for the marketing reasons. I gotta merge all, all the petals here for them to just lie on the ground. It'll be way easier for me to paint it on one layer. That's kind of another color variation that I'm adding to the to the color palette. I'm afraid it'll just at one point it'll be too much. We will we have reds. We have like uh, I and mean, technically that's like a bit more orangey red, but it's like this pastel color, peach color. Yeah, peach color definitely. Uh, we have blue, cyan's, greens. Damn those greens. Those greens do look a bit disgusting, if I'm being honest. How do I balance all of that out? Yes, yeah, see you, Qsper. Take care, friend. Thank you for hanging out. I will say this illustration is a bit more difficult than I anticipated for it to be. Um, kind of don't know how to continue with it. Perhaps once I get a little bit too tired working on this one, we get in, onto the commission piece. Or I can get on it sooner. Look, to be honest, this one is... Uh, the deadline for this is the end of the month, right? And the deadline for commission is uh, in actually like four days or so. Oh my god, what am I doing? Like, not even... That's not even uh, funny, what am I doing? All right, sunshines. I hope you're ready for this. I hope you're ready for this uh, 
commission work to take over because this is going to be absolutely awesome. Can you see it? You can. Definitely can. Alright, so what we have going on here is uh actually let me first find the reference. I think I had a good reference for this one. Oh yeah, thankfully I do have it saved, thank god. So that is like a, an angel character intends to kill a demon character, if that makes sense. Mm, the only thing they've asked me to change is the... is the direction of her head. Like where she looks at. Unfortunately, we'll, we will not see the girl's face. Conflict in war. <laughs> yeah. Somebody will be conflict in war and somebody will proceed it more sexually. <laughs> Since that's like a male and female character. Her horns have like such a strange shape. I've drawn that character by the way three times already, the the, the demon girl. Um, right, I was actually thinking, what if we just jump straight into colors? You can of course do some on this sketch and make it more into a more rendered line art, but what if we just jump straight right in? His hand is just, his arm rather, is just, just too, too long. The way he holds a sword is a bit weird, but I actually didn't know how to kind of pull it off, really. Oh well, this is better. He kind of stands on her shoulder with his feet. I also want for this piece to be exact like that. I was, uh, I was going to crop it for it to be. Um, just taller and less wide, but honestly, I do love the the negative space we have here. 
kind of give you give your eyes a little bit of room to rest. Right, so how about we just go straight in in the coloring? I would also want to block out the, the characters first as well, just to kind of see what colors they are. The guy's pretty, pretty bright, he's like white color, almost. I'll make him look like cyanish, almost. Mm, an outline? Let's, let's make an outline. I'm also pretty excited to jump straight into the painting. I usually do spend a little bit more time in the sketch zone, but Probably it's fun to shake things up a bit. Oh dude, actually I was thinking about starting a work straight up in the in painting phase, just painting from scratch. I might do that for the for the next uh Twitch art ruffle. Right, and, and he has like dark hands and uh, dark hair. And feet as well. He also does have wings, which is pretty cool. Like this is uh, literally uh, an easy composition setup if you like start with all of them at once. Oh, dude, I haven't asked what the wings are. Like they don't look like they're feathers. They look like they're. Uh... Oh, right, they're pretty weird, honestly. Don't mind at all. They kind of almost like torn, uh, torn cloth. 
your texture. We should make it even even more fun if I'm being honest. Yeah, what do you sunshine think of this piece so far? Is it cute or what? I mean it's probably difficult to tell what's going on. Uh yeah, let's and also there will be like a golden contrast here as well. Going on with his nimb thing. The shoulder pad, the sword perhaps as well. There also will be a golden thing behind him. Tell you that that's like a an easy composition for me. Well, perhaps it's easy now, but it will become more and more difficult later on as more elements occur. But that's kind of the fun part to like take all of that into account and um, to juggle it all. That's the fun part of this piece. Yo, Tao Booksy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, friend. Okay, let's paint in the second character pretty fast. The second character is actually dark by default. So th this is what we are dealing with today. A starting contrast. Liking it so far, nice, nice. Awesome, continuing onwards with it. I would love for it to look like almost like those old uh, Renaissance painting or what was their. Uh, I think it was like Baroque or Rococo era of like a lot of biblical motifs. Oh, my Photoshop lagged out. Awesome. Give me a second. Should be working now. Um, like biblical motifs of like angels against demons and stuff. I think it can look pretty cool. Right, so she has dark skin at some parts. She still has pinkish hair, which I'm definitely going to make like almost almost gray for obvious reasons. Digital link, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Um, I think we might make it even brighter, honestly. Okay. And also, there is a cool red accent. Yeah, more like pinkish.
Oh, she also does have a tail, that's, that's for sure. Almost forgot about the tail. Alright, so that's kind of the beginning of it all. Where do we take it from here? The question is, alright, my initial idea, or like, is kinda to do it like this. Like the, it'll be darker from the character on top and it'll be lighter to her, so you kinda can flesh out both of the characters. We can also make just the whole thing pretty dark as well, which might work. Although I do like the light composition as well, but here we can like make parts of him blend out, blend into the, the dark area and the rest of it will be stand out. I also, I also kind of just enjoy the light on dark lately. I think it's pretty cool. I think it allows for a lot of unusual expression. It's also pretty much pretty uncommon to see in, in really art, in art nowadays, which is what I like, which is exactly what I like. Perhaps there's like cloudy sky behind the guy and then it's like kind of hellish environment closer to her. She only had something in her teeth and he was removing it. <laughs> yeah. It's a surgery for removing a, a wisdom tooth. Pretty complicated surgery, so I gotta gotta hire hire an angel to help. I don't know what lava picking through though, but I mean I think it would like a cool contrast, kind of like this hellish ground here, like very dry, very kind of rocky, deserty environment here, and more of like a cloud environment behind the the, the angel character.
and then it'd be like the the glow here everywhere. Call Daggery Tom. Thank you for the follow. Hey Tom, welcome, welcome. How are you feeling, Tom? You're uh, you're doing it today. Doing nice. Painting some angels or what? That's like the best stage of the painting. I'm just free to do whatever. And then, I don't know, all of a sudden, like the last piece I, I was working on with uh, Fisher Lens thing and the girl, kind of lost it. Kind of don't feel like uh, working on it anymore. <laughs> I don't like how the background is turning out there, honestly. Right, I do enjoy this a lot, but I kind of, dude, I want to get back to the previous work. I I want to enjoy this as much. What is what do I not like about it? It's the background I don't like. It definitely is. I mean, the character itself, I have a lot of fun working on. Fuck.
Don't worry, Sanchez. We'll get better to the get back to the commission piece. I intend to work on it a lot today, but it's just uh, I don't like feeling like I don't enjoy working on this. <laughs> as crazy as it might sound, I do want for this piece to be like be my piece to come back to when I'm, you know, not feeling it for the other works. But currently, it's the opposite, and I don't like that. I don't also I don't also don't like the the fish in the front. It's kinda too big. Oh I think I know what I don't like about it. It's, the composition is like kinda it doesn't flow naturally. Even though, like, you think those, uh, those, like, structures with the uh, LR for now, for now, slow flow in the picture, but you kind of don't. I think it's too chaotic on the background as well. I would kind of want to try to merge stuff together a little bit more.
Sankaros, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, Sankaros. Why doesn't, doesn't she look like she's like standing here though? I don't know, dude. Like something about the... It's about the bottom here. Like she doesn't look like she stands on the ground for some reason. Any standing on the ground experts? I think it, it kind of happened that I changed the perspective for those, for the, for the statues. Yeah, dude, that's definitely uh, something, like, something fig to figure out. New art god? <laughs> Alright, Sankros, you're definitely, uh, you're probably new on Twitch then. <laughs> but thank you. Um, just to bring you up to speed on the lore here, like this character is the character that was requested by um, one of my Twitch subs. Uh, I did a Twitch art raffle at the end of the previous month, and this is the piece I'm doing for them. It's pretty cool. Like it's not a particular character, it's a, an original character that I've kind of designed for them. The request was just a, uh, if I rem recall correctly, it was a angry Okom looking girl with uh, Japanese and cyber aesthetic in her clothes, holding a katana. Like that's that's pretty much the the request. That is what we are following here, my friend. The Lord shall bless us with frogs. Yo, hey, Ancasa, yep. It is, it, it is an artsy frog. That's how you, uh, whenever um, you're talking to Normie and you say you're an artist, they really should, that's how they envision you paint in a, in, in a hat like this and with, with a red scarf. in oil paint because it's uh you know obviously digital paint is uh is a new technology it hasn't been around for 20 years yet so only for 19. sparring non not han han what's that carsey you're using some unfamiliar words today My beginner level English knowledge is kind of not up, uh, not up to your game. French noise. Han Han. <laughs> when do we make that sound? 